Kinesiology taping for pectoral inhibition. So pectoralis major originates on the medial half of the collarbone, the clavicle, down the sternum and the costal cartilage of the ribs one to six. It inserts onto the greater tubercle of the humerus. Action, many, different fibers, different directions, different actions. Adduction, medial rotation, flexion, horizontal, and even extension of the shoulder. And it's also involved in forced inhalation. So breathing patterns really important when we're looking at the pectorals. Pec minor, so important. So the smaller pec muscle underneath pectoralis major, originating on ribs three, four, and five, and inserting onto the scapula at the coracoid process. Action, depression, abduction, and tilting anterior of the scapula. And again, involved in forced inhalation. So this one, given its scapular attachment, really important in scapular dysfunction. So things like winging of the scapula or impingements that invo involve the scapula. So things like an AC joint impingement. So why call out the pectorals for inhibition? Well, I think you're going to find in practice that short, over-dominant, over-active pectoralis major and or minor play a role in so many of your client's dysfunctions or discomforts. So it's a really, really common area, especially when we get our hands on, that we want to keep that length or that you know reduction in tonicity that we create with our hands for longer post-treatment. We will see rounded shoulders, medially rotated, locked short at the front, so much. And symptoms like pain in the rhomboids, AC joint impingement, scapular winging, lots of, um, I suppose, conditions where there's not necessarily any discomfort or pain in the chest or in the pectorals. But actually lengthening them, down training them can be a big part of our treatment approach. So as always, be the detective, find out what your intention is, and if inhibiting that muscle is complementary to what you're trying to achieve with your treatment plan, then this is a really simple taping and really effective. So a simple one-step taping to inhibit the pectorals. In particular here, I'm targeting pec minor and some of the lower fibers of pec major. This client's shoulder is really locked down with some winging at the back. Other options are to activate antagonist muscles identified that need strengthening or maybe that you're strengthening on as part of your home care. Or you might also want to desensitize any symptomatic tissues, depending on what your client presents with. It's an inhibition, so I'm going to anchor away from the midline of the body. So I'm going to anchor onto the back of the shoulder, onto the back of the shoulder and across the humerus. I'm going to add a light amount of stretch to the tape and I'm going to ask my client to stretch their shoulder back, putting the tissue on stretch. And I'm going to lay that tape down with the light stretch, rubbing well to stick. Anchor with no tension and no stretch.